Good afternoon. Welcome to another chat. This is the weekend edition. Here's the casual attire. Uh, episode 927. And the topic today is going to be an interesting one. It's when the world wobbles, how balanced are you? And we'll speak to actually how you can navigate the world when the world doesn't go the way you think it should or would or did. That's right, yes. Before I jump into all of that and give you the full picture, <laughs> let me introduce myself and explain who I am and why I do this work. My name is Barry Selby. Hey, thank you for joining my broadcast. I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, um, and also help women create balance in love, life, and business. And balance is the word I'm going to talk about today. Um, as I said, I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is why I help women create more balance in love, life, and business, as I said. And also what started these talks just over three years ago. It's about a, three years and a week. <laughs> Uh, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. Today we're episode number 927. It's going to be a thousand before I finish, I know that for sure. And probably more than that, the way things are going. And the topic to talk about today is finding balance in a topsy-turvy, wobbling world. And it's been on my mind because I, if you've watched my last couple of broadcasts, I've been clumsily explaining a new thing I'm offering. And finally it came clear last night, thanks to intervention, <laughs> intervention a conversation. Kind of, kind of intervention from one of my dear um, accountability partners. They gave me some insight. So I'll tell you more about that later on. But what I want to talk about is balance, because that's one of the three components I'm going to be speaking about in this course. And balance sounds very interesting as a term, because you're like, what does that mean? So let me explain what I mean specifically. For me, what balance comes back to, more than anything else, is in a way remaining centered when things around you aren't. And that can be in relationships specifically, because that's one of the areas I specialize in. But it could also be when you're dealing with politics. That's on my mind a lot since the election on Wednesday, uh, Thursday. So three day Thursday? No, yes. A few days ago, back in England. Um, but also it's about when you have a challenge with family members, or something happens to your car, or you're stuck in the traffic in the freeways. All these different things that happen in our lives can impinge upon our centeredness. And that can knock you off balance. I was going to say, living in LA, traffic is one of the ones that's very high up on the list. If you live in LA, you understand this, that driving in LA, especially in rush hour, can be one of the most unbalanced experiences you can have because things can go crazy. So it can be as simple as, just as, simple as sort of thing, driving in traffic, or it could be a situation in the company, the job you work in, or it could be a problem with your spouse. I'm using the word problem in the sense that it's something where you don't have a balance in there. All in situations have one thing in common, besides the fact that things are out of balance. That is you. And I want to say this this way just as a reminder, is that everything I'm teaching you now is something you can do without anybody else's intervention. Nothing, everything, which way I'm say this? Which way I'm saying this? Whatever, what, whatever situation you're dealing with, you have the ability to change your state. And that's the thing about balance. Balance is something that's innate within us. We are innately able to balance ourselves unless we give power to that thing outside of us. And that's a false thing, by the way. You can't actually give your power away, but you presume by abdicating your role and responsibility to be in balance. Now it's a complicated statement, I hope that made sense. When you give away your power to other people, and I talked about this many times in my love and relationship specific talks about the trap of codependency, because that's a trap we fall into easily when we're caught up in this paradigm where we think the other person is going to be the one that makes us feel happy. The same thing applies when you let other people make you feel unhappy or our situations make you feel unhappy. That's called codependency. And I've talked about it many times before. But what it does when you, when you play in that game of codependency, what you're really doing is setting yourself up for imbalance because your ability to stay centered and, and balanced inside yourself is predicated upon that person being kind to you, being nice to you, being supportive of you, giving you a sense of balance. But nine times out of 10, to use an arbitrary number scale, that doesn't happen. So as a human being in this world, welcome to the human race, life continues to throw curveballs it creates imbalance in life that's the way the word works it wobbles so to speak as the term i was using because it's never going to be ultimately consistent however you have the ability to make what happens inside of you balanced and consistent the challenge is how to do that and also participate in the world because some people think well i can be i can be balanced by going away and living on a mountain and being a hermit and meditating 24 hours a day seven days a week 
That's one way of staying in balance, but it's not exactly functional in the world because you're staying away from the world. The question is really, I'm asking you this question, I'm throwing this question out to you is, and I have some ideas, how can you be balanced when you're in the world, fully invested, excuse me, fully immersed, because invested is a different word in this context, and able to function from a place of centeredness and balance? So first I'll give you one of the clues already, which is if you're being in a place, if you're putting yourself in a place, if you're putting yourself in a situation, putting yourself in a position, position is better, putting yourself in a position where you give your power to other circumstances, other people, other things that will give you the sense of, um, how do I say this? Let me, let me rewind it for a second. When you put yourself in a situation where you give your sense of control to somebody else, control is the word I want to use in this case, you, you're basically not in control because you gave them the control. You know, control there's only one control, yours or theirs. Either you let them control you or you control you. Now, some people have been trained that way by, by their family dynamics. When we're kids, we, we kind of put up with that from our parents because they control everything. But when we're adults, you don't have to keep doing that. But we do often sometimes give control to somebody else. And that I'm using that word because it's a real annoying word. Control is painful. Because when you're in control, you're constraining, you're holding down, you're limiting. You give that control to somebody else, they're doing this to you, or they have the ability to do that to you. So codependency isn't a functional thing to work, period. I talked about that a lot too. But what I want to come back to is one way that you can in fact have balance in life is to not give your power, give your control, give your freedom to somebody else. That's going to be tomorrow, okay. I'm jumping in, so I've got three, three topics I'm going to talk about which leads to something I'm going to offer and balance is one of the key components. So I want to stick to that one because the other two interplay, but not quite yet. Getting ahead of myself. You have to watch tomorrow for the next part. <laughs> so in this understanding, there is a um, pivot point that comes up. And it may be one of the most powerful pivot points you have in your life, which is when you start to realize that everything that happens in your life is up to you. Everything that other people do has no effect upon you unless you say so. This is the power of responsibility. It's also the power of freedom, by the way. Again, freedom's tomorrow. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to get there. <laughs> Let's stick to balance. But uh, I don't want to give more of the way at once, but I, I did talk about it a couple of days ago, so you may already guess where I'm going with this. But anyway, so balance is this piece in our life where we can decide whether we're going to lean one way or the other, if we're going to be knocked off balance by other people, because, and let me just say another way, because I, want to, I really should go back to the beginning about what balance means to me. Balance, for me, means the ability to be able to function in the world without being swayed, knocked about, um, bullied by, hmm, personal experience, or coerced by other things in, the, in your life, whether it's, your, whether it's your other people, your partner, um, habits, the alarm clock. <laughs> I mean, I said at the beginning a bunch of them, this is a bunch more. And this is the reminder is that every moment is a choice point every moment you can choose yes you can choose to come back into balance i would almost substitute centeredness for balance but i will use balance better because for most people the idea of balance you can feel what that feels like when you're not able to stay true to yourself and when you're out of balance it's because you're usually letting something else around you affect your state of being so i said already about taking your power back and not letting people affect that like in codependent paradigm the, the model I use is like being a puppet on a string. So if you notice that other people are pulling your strings, that's the feeling of being out of balance because they're basically taking control. When you take control back, you have freedom from that. Second one is, when you're able to function without being invested in other people's moods, other people's states, other people's reactions, that also gives you freedom. Excuse me, balance. I'm conflating the words. Here's the clink. I'm gonna talk about freedom, uh, balance today. Tomorrow's gonna to be freedom. And then the day after that's going to be flow because there's three words I'm talking about because that's something I'm going to be offering and I'm already giving you a head start. Let me finish up with balance today. I'm going to finish this point because I'm realizing I'm jumping ahead of myself. So balance, again, is the ability to function in the world in a place that is centered, that is calm, that is, has, um, that's the word, equanimity. That's the word. Equanimity is this idea of being in a place of equal state, meaning you're not leaning one way or the other. That balance, when the real world is going crazy and not chaotic because of what's happening from other people, other situations, whether it's the news, whether it's your friends, whether it's your car or your property, whatever it is, you have the ability to say, you know what, that's going on. 
but it's not how I choose to respond. Because you do have choice about your own ability to be in balance. So there's several techniques I can teach you and that's just gonna be part of this new offering I'm putting together. So I'm giving you a little nudge now. Um, I mentioned it before, but what I've decided to do is make this a group course. Rather than making it private coaching, it's a bit higher, higher level, I'm gonna make this very, very straightforward. It's called BFF, Balance is the first one, and tomorrow's freedom, and third one's flow, so I'm gonna tell you about those tomorrow and the day after, which is gonna create fulfillment. Specifically for the ladies, but so it may open this up to men as well, we'll see, but it's gonna start after the new year. I'm gonna start this in January, and I'm gonna offer some special early birth specials about it, and you have to tune in um, the next two days. I may put it out tomorrow, but I'm probably gonna wait till Tuesday, because that's the third one, to give you the full invitation, because I haven't done the webpage or any of that stuff yet. If you're interested in finding out more about that, and you wanna get on the early bird list, message me over social media. I may put a link in the comments, you can contact me the same way, but BFF is coming. <laughs> and balance is the first part. Now I've got a bunch of skills and techniques I can teach you and show you how to come into balance and be much more um, successful, it's not successful, the right word. Empowered is, yeah, empowered's a better word. Empowered and enabled state to do what you want in the world in a way that works. It's a choice though. And I'm gonna give you that choice, both check in and sign up for my course, but also to check in if you wanna be in balance, period. Because you can still spend the rest of your life being at the, the mercy of those around you. You can be the ping pong ball being bounced around by other people. Or you say, you know what? I'm taking my control back. I'm taking my freedom back. I'm taking my dominion back. And I'm gonna be in balance myself. Because it's not up to anybody else to make you feel in balance. Now I'm gonna offer you tools, but I'm not making you feel in balance. You will do that. That's the way to do it. One of the tools I always talk about and I teach it all the time is about how to love yourself because when you start loving yourself, it's part of that ability to bring back your um, self-awareness into yourself. The self-love meditation I keep talking about promoting has so many side benefits that people don't realize. One of those is understanding that you can be in balance because when you're loving yourself, you're not necessarily as caught up in getting love from other people, which means you're not as out of balance dependent upon somebody else to love you. Simple and effective. Loving yourself is where it starts, always, always. So that's gonna be in the comments. So again, two links in the comments, already known, there's gonna be two now. And contact form, we can reach out to find out more about BFF if you wanna sign up for that. I'll give you the link so you can check it out. And my self-love meditation, because it works, pure and simple. Um, this, as I've already hinted at, <laughs> bluntly and blatantly, is part of a three-part offering that I'm gonna talk about. It's gonna be, be a group course, it's gonna be three months. I'll tell you more about it tomorrow and Tuesday, but it's gonna be about balance, freedom and flow, BFF. And it's gonna help you create more fulfillment and actually become more fulfilled in everyday activities in your life. It's gonna be fun. I've already got uh, so much was brewing on this. I'm just talking about it now just to give you a little, 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 little taste. So if you wanna know more about that and how to come into balance in your life, I'll show you how. Now, what I suggested to you, you can practice, so you're gonna do that, definitely. But know this is just the starting point. There's a lot more to come. So I do invite you to tune in tomorrow and Tuesday actually tomorrow and the day after, because depending on when you're watching this, it might be other days of the week, and I explain how this works. Um, that's my offer, it's coming up again. It's gonna be in January, I'll do, a pre I'll do, I'll do some special early bird stuff before the holidays, because why not? And uh, that's all coming. So in the meantime, my invitation to you, my recommendation, my suggestion to you is look at your life and notice where you're out of balance, and make the choice to come into balance. Take that forward and you'll be amazed at what happens. Balance is within your grasp, balance is a way of being, and balance is how you can live your life in a much more joy-filled, free, and in, what's the word looking for? Passionate life. Passionate, this is a good word, passionate. So for that, I thank you for watching. This is my daily broadcast, by the way, if you haven't seen it before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. You can watch my broadcast live by joining me here on my personal page, or you can watch the replays on my business page or on YouTube. So my business page, which you can like, is barryselby.author, and most of them show up there, but Facebook's been notoriously bad at showing all of my broadcasts. But if you go to my YouTube channel, which is much more secure <laughs> so far, um, which is, is youtube.com slash user slash barryselby, there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. So subscribe to my channel, and you can watch every single one of my broadcasts if you so choose, or 920 plus. You can search through by keyword, find the ones you want to look for, and get some, get some leverage on your own love life and your own way of being in the world. Um, as I've always said, my journey here, my support here, my message is to help you have what you want, to be more happy, more fulfilled, and more joyful. This is another reminder. Um, I thank you for watching. 
Again, links will be in the comments, as I mentioned, so please check them out. And if you need help in the area of love and relationships, you can message, message me over social media about that too. I do thank you for watching, and I'll be back again tomorrow with part two of this little series. And, um, and as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.